Jimmy in the house! Yeah, he's back. Again. You left again. You were gone. You were in Europe. You were gone again. Everybody's like, where Fofo? I'm like, I don't know, man. He's just leaving. He's doing stuff. He's working. And then you come back and then you take off again. You leave again. And it's nice that you invited me to go on that little excursion that you went off with oh, all your besties. I you go off to Vegas. You all are dressed to the nines, having fun, doing stuff. I didn't get an invite. I didn't go. <gasps> oh, you would have went? Of course I would have gone. Are you kidding me? You and Jen could have made it. Well, first of all, I don't know if Jen would have gone. I would have gone. <laughs> and uh, Been the 11th wheel? I would have. Well, yeah, because I would just stay in my own room. and. Oh, so yeah. it'd be great to have you there. I would just. You wouldn't see me. <laughs> but I would be I would be there. I guess I. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry. You can find sorry. me at the blackjack table <laughs> if you're looking for me. You know, I did not play uh, blackjack. I'm actually trying to think if I played did, at all. Did you play craps? I, I was doing fantastic. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Because I, I, I know like that's your new passion. Uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm happy. Uh-huh. Came out ahead? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it was percentage good. ahead? What was the... What? Oh, minimal. Yeah. But nonetheless. Okay, good. Yeah. So you didn't lose any money doing that? Zero. Nice. Mm-hmm. Overall. So what did you bring me from Vegas? I can't wait. This is awesome. I, I brought you hostility. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. I've already experienced it. Great. <laughs> nah, man. It was good. So was explain good. to people what happened because your wife kind of did something for you. Here. Oh, yeah. So we... Uh, your I turned, 40th birthday. I turned 40. Michelle did the surprise birthday party, which is nice. And then a surprise trip uh, with uh, with some friends Yeah. to Vegas. Yeah. Not this friend. That's, That's okay. why I said some. That's okay. That's why I said some. It's a specific circle of friends that and, I'm not a part of. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, so we we went mm-hmm. and we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, went to some good restaurants. I finally went yeah. to Hell's Kitchen. I know, you wouldn't go with me when nope, I was there. because I made a promise to my wife. I was in Vegas twice with you. You wouldn't go. I promised her, mm-hmm. I almost want to say 15 years ago, mm-hmm. maybe even 20, at least 15 years ago, mm. that... The first time I go would be with her. Yeah. Okay. The very first. I'm still on a list. We're yeah. on a waiting list. We're on a waiting list to go to, uh, like for a taping in LA. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We're still on that list. Waiting to go. So uh, so it was a good time. You went and- Great time. Uh, great time. We spent a lot of time at the pool, which was nice. Yeah. I know you like that. Out in the sun, bacon. Mm-hmm. Like a brown baked potato. That's right. So we enjoyed <laughs> that. And uh, uh, we didn't catch any shows. Which was okay. unfortunate, but we walked around a lot and got to see things. And yeah, good, yeah, just enjoyed. Did, did you go to get the seafood tower like we did? Did you go to that place? No, we did not go to that place. Oh, see, that's no. our place. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that's our that's place. That's our place. That's our place. Mm-hmm. The we Rio. Had, we had that tower uh, at Oscars at that one. Uh, oh, Oscars. Place. Oscars. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a dump. Oscars. <laughs> it sounds it's like a garbage can. Oscar, uh, Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, yeah. I, no, I get it. I get it. No, it was good. Good food. Enjoyed ourselves. Had some fun. Walked around. Cool. You know how it is. Yeah, no, I know. It's, uh, you know, I've enjoyed going with you a couple yeah. times there. Michelle, Michelle enjoyed herself. No, the people, people enjoyed themselves. Mm-hmm. I know? saw some pictures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every, I know? saw, I read the police blotter. No, mm-hmm. no, no, no. I no, did. No, no, I, I did read okay, it. but uh, yeah. we were not on it. Well, you know, your names weren't, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> unidentified suspects. No, nope, no, 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 no. We had a great time just fellowshipping and mm-hmm. yeah. Just, oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. We hung out. Well, we I, I read the Vegas police blotter, and I was like, I oh. saw like you know suspects, and I was wondering, like, nope. could this be them? No, it was not. It was, are, wow. it was not. How do you know? You don't. Uh, you, maybe I, I know. I was okay. there. All right. I was there. Mm. So it was, yeah, a lot of fun. Okay. A lot of good time. Good. Shout out. You know, there are people on here that are listening. Oh yeah. Did you meet up with anybody? No, no, no. I'm talking about no, no. I'm talking about uh, people that went or you know they actually access. listen to this. Yeah, we have a few all access subscribers. Who are They're probably. not paying for it though. Like, hey, dummies. Okay, <laughs> just talk to me. If you're a part of our church, you shouldn't be paying for this. We keep telling people that. I made it people don't listen. I know. I know. Right, right. You know. Listen. Just just get us a cigar if you want to contribute. <laughs> Buy us each a cigar and be done with it. And just take all that. You don't need to pay for it. Right, mm-hmm. Yeah, they, I wrote, yeah, people were dressed. Yeah, no, I saw the pictures. They looked fancy. I noticed you didn't show up in any of those fancy pictures because nah. you probably looked like a schlub. Yep. Walking around the, the casino in a bathrobe, probably. Uh, yep, and my slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Just shuffling around. Mm-hmm. Shuffling around, throwing them dice. Mm-hmm. Dude, out. So we went to uh, this. So, you know, I like I play craps and yeah. I enjoy it. And it's a team yes. kind of a game. Yeah. I remember the no, tables the, all. The table you know? becomes a, 
a, a team of cheerleaders yep. and everyone's fans. happy everyone's excited mm -hmm. and so if you're if you're on a good roll not only are, are you doing well but the table's doing well right so one night i got tipped i've, I've gotten that in the past where like another player will be like hey man thanks i made i, I made some good i made some money here's because $20. of you yeah. i was betting with you yeah. and here's twenty dollars yeah right right that's nice yeah yeah one guy gave me a hundred <laughs> another guy 50 <laughs> and then another dude gave me a dollar so i could you know tip the waitress dollar make you hollow and i got to <laughs> i got uh, so yeah he uh he paid for my uh diet coke at the table that was very nice of him that was very nice that was very kind i like that wait a minute the, the drinks are free at the casino what are you talking about i know but you still tip you still oh, tip yeah the, yeah and so he got a he, dollar though you give him like a you give him a like a five dollar chip or something i don't well, i don't do that you cheat, man. Yeah, I, 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 I give a dollar. Man, I and I throw like one of those black casino chips at them when they come. A hundred? Yeah, well, yeah, whatever it is. I don't pay attention. I, it's a hundred. Yeah, that's so what I saying. a black one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to bless them. Uh, we, went, uh, we went to your favorite spot. By the way, I don't, spot. I don't have any black chips when yeah, I go. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we went to your favorite spot, though. Uh, Over at MGM Grand. Mama Fuku? In, uh No, no, no. <laughs> We went to MGM Grand. Okay. And we went to uh, a establishment there. All right. Where you would go. Okay. To enjoy a cup of coffee. Yeah. In the morning and, right. and a cigar. Rude. What's that? Yeah. No, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Sorry. It's like a it's a whiskey. <gasps> oh, spot. did I go there? Uh, you would go there in the mornings. So. Oh, okay. So we oh, went there nice. and, and reminisced. You should have took some pictures, man. I should have. I, I like I like pictures. I want to see right. pictures. So yeah, we went there. Had a nice cup I, of coffee. I joke I said, around. I go. Joey really loves this spot. I joke around like I'm all jealous and upset that like I'm not with Jimmy all the time. It, it's 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 a goof. Um, I love being with Jimmy, but like listen, it's a goof. But I love seeing pictures of when my friends are out doing that mm -hmm, stuff, right? Because mm -hmm. I get to live vicariously. Because I don't like as Jimmy in knows, and as most of you know, I don't actually like doing much. No, he doesn't. I don't not. like going hardly anywhere. He doesn't want to go. He's but, he's pretending like he wants to go, right. but he doesn't want to go. <laughs> And so it's like a whole thing of, instead going. Of, instead of, so we've just to honor you. Mm -hmm. We don't want to put you in that position where it's awkward. It's a culture of honor. Yeah, culture of honor. So we just yeah, we, we just no invite, no invite. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Yeah. See, I like that you're thinking about me by not thinking about me. That no, 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 <laughs> no. I know you're thinking. About <laughs> We're thinking about you by not inviting. By not inviting. Yeah, you. I got it. I got it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, like, listen, Jimmy, you're busy. I, mean, I, I know you're busy mm -hmm. because you're never here. And you're always partying in Vegas or whatever no, you're doing. No, 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 no. You're very busy. And so uh, you guys might have noticed that we really, the Doc and Devo social media stuff pretty much is dormant for the most part. Every once in a while, we'll post something on there. My bad. And that's just because Jimmy does not have the time to play. Sorry. And Jimmy doesn't even like have time to check social media. So no, you don't know. I, just, I have no idea. So I mentioned something to you before when you got here today, before the elders meeting. I said, hey, have you heard about J.D. Hall? And you meant, you mean, you mean you said like, oh, well, like when he was like pulled over for a DUI, and I was like, no, that, that was a few months yeah, ago. Yeah, with with zero, with he had no alcohol in no his alcohol, system. No alcohol, yeah, I want to make that clear. But the cops said he's still impaired, and they're going to do a toxicology and all yep, that stuff. Yep. So, uh, but you hadn't heard the the most recent thing, and so um, our our listeners probably already know. You guys are all on on social media that uh, that J D Hall was um, removed from his church, the church, his the church that he's pastored there in I think Montana, um, said that he is uh, disqualified uh, from pastoral ministry and uh, because of moral failure, and uh, he has been removed from uh, what was pulpit and pen, and then became protestia, I believe. Um, all, he's been removed from all of that. Now, nobody is saying what specifically the disqualification was, whether mm. this is the DUI thing that happened or uh, there are other things like he was sued and found guilty for you know, lying about something that he wrote. And okay. it was like a whole thing. He had to declare bankruptcy and they, he, he could be charged 250 grand. I mean, I'm looking at the website now. It, Sorry, I'm, this mm -hmm. is real-time info okay. now. There is a statement on the disqualification of Jordan J.D. Hall, published which, June 27th. Which uh, which one? Which website? Uh, uh, the church website, fbcsydney.org. Oh, okay. So this is new. I have not seen this. This because I just checked earlier today and it was not up. During several days following an incident that took place Sunday, June 5th, 2022, it came to the attention of the church leadership of Fellowship Baptist Church of Sydney, Montana, that our lead pastor, Jordan Hall, had fallen into a dependency upon prescription. I can't. Uh, so Xanax. Xanax. Characterized by use that exceeded his prescribed dosage. As a result, uh, Pastor Hall tendered his resignation from the pastorate shortly thereafter on June 8th. 
under the assumption that he become disqualified from eldership as detailed in first Timothy three and a subsequent business meeting, the church body voted to accept his resignation from his role as pastor and elder at fellowship Baptist church. So he, yeah. So he re- resigned, right. He okay. tendered his resignation. Yeah. Right. right. It says uh, this resignation, however, was distinct from an earlier resignation that was tendered on May 14th due to an incident in which Pastor Hall had been arrested and charged with a DUI after failing a field sobriety test. Uh, Due to the testimony of Pastor Hall regarding a known vitamin deficiency that he insisted was to blame for his lack of coordination, the church had voted unanimously to reject, reject his resignation, believing that the situation did not disqualify him from the pastorate. The church decided instead to insist that Pastor Hall submit to a minimum of three months sabbatical to address all of this stuff. Uh, the results of the toxicology screening requested by law enforcement were pending. Uh, the results of the screening are still outstanding at the time of this writing, and the church agreed to revisit his qualification if the report was found uh, problematic or found problematic substances in his system, uh, but no member vocalized any suspicion of drug use. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you guys can read that at uh, FBC Sydney S I D N E Y dot org. Um, yeah. So that wasn't there earlier. Well, I do want to say this here. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so it, it does say towards the end here, mm-hmm. Mr. Hall and his family are now being ministered by ministered to by church leadership through the application of church discipline as prescribed in Matthew 18. We are exhorting him to seek professional treatment and Good. work toward the restoration of his mind and body and the reconciliation of his relationships with God and family. Great. Your prayers for the Hall family, along with wisdom regarding the situation as it unfolds, are coveted. There you go. So here's the thing. Like, um, you know, some people, uh, and I haven't seen a lot, some people are rejoicing uh, that, you know, that he has had to resign from ministry, that he's been disqualified, mm-hmm. right, is how they put it, um, from ministry. And uh, and they, the reason they do that is because, frankly, uh, J.D. Hall has behaved like a jerk online in many instances. He has been ungodly in his attacks on people like me. For example, uh, several podcasts and articles have been written about me by J.D. Hall and his crew, Um, some of which is true and inconsequential, but they make it a big deal. Some of it is a stretch of what I've said or what Jimmy has said and uh, and, and unfair. But uh, a lot of people rejoice over this and we want to be really clear. This is not fun. Mm -mm. It's not funny. It's not cool. Um, And we we I hate that he is actually going through this. I hate that his family is going um, through yeah, this. Oh, goodness. The, the, and, his, and his church, you know, listen, uh, we, we can have disagreements with yep. all these things. And I have, I definitely, he seems to have a problem with, with us, <laughs> with me. But, um, but no, like this is, this is a, a failure. This is a falling. And, uh, and I hate it when, when this happens to people. Um, and listen, it, it's, it's not like, listen, I'm sure like JD Hall wasn't like one day, like, you know what? I can't wait. I want to get dependent on prescription drugs. Yeah, like that doesn't yeah. happen. No, no. He, he, maybe he was injured. Something happened. He had to. He had to go on these things, and then things got out of hand, and he became addicted or whatever, or began abusing them for whatever reason. Uh, so he needs help. He needs help. He needs grace. Um, listen, I, I think. I think he. I think he needs a lot. A lot of discipline as well uh, because of this and because of other things that he's done. Um, that I think he should be held accountable for. But what I really want for JD is what I want for you, Jimmy, and what I want for me. I want him to experience revival. I want him to experience uh, a restoration of his spiritual life, of, of a moral life. I, I want him to flourish in every way. And hopefully that coincides with him having a, a different approach to the church at large. Yeah, You know, you can have concerns and, and you can have real disputes with brothers and sisters uh, and you can attack false doctrine and all that's really important and good. But I think, you know, the heart that we have towards one another uh, is, is important as well. Um, and I think, you know, so I, I'd like to see what I perceive to be a lot of anger coming from him and from some of that group uh, to be replaced with just conviction, strong mm. conviction that's coupled with mercy. And I mean, I want I kind of want to point out three things here, if that's all right. Yeah. I, you know, well, you're asking my permission for it. It's well, your podcast. Yeah, it's my podcast, mm-hmm. my podcast, three things here. One, I mean, listen, you got to give it. It's admirable. It's admirable that when confronted, you know, it, it sometimes it takes time. People lie to themselves. Yep. People, especially in the, in that state, right. Where they're uh, not the state of Montana, but it, it, it in an uh, uh, addiction state mm-hmm. to continue to lie to themselves that no, I'm fine. Everything's yep. okay. I've got this under control. I'm not overusing, but when shown and seen instead of, 
instead of lying about it, instead of just trying to press through, mm-hmm. instead of just trying to cover it up, he he took the pastorate seriously and tendered his resignation. Well, now, secondly, go, let me because the going. second goes with this. Mm-hmm. If that wasn't the case, and the elders requested that he did that, that's still yet a a beautiful sign of the elders stepping in, like that, like and glorifying glorifying God and protecting the pastorate and protecting the pulpit. Like to me, that's that shows that shows something, Joe. Right? Yep. Uh, whether it's it's JD's character and his understanding of the importance of of character when it comes to the pastorate or the elders understanding the the importance of who's behind the pulpit right. and the character and of the individual so whether he resigned because he knew it was the right thing or whether the elders told him you need to resign because you've disqualified yourself through this and he submitted to them at least one of these groups is doing the right thing or one or both both yeah yeah one or both right and and to me like that's still because how many how many how many leaders are we seeing mm-hmm. that are not doing that right? And how the many churches leaders, just back them up and back all the them way. Up. Mm-hmm. Like, how many of these leaders that maybe don't have the online history or the verbal outbursts of anger or the hostility that that a JD has right. that seem but they're still overbearing, domineering, and controlling, mm-hmm. and put a smile on their face and manipulate. Yep. and they they sit there and excuse themselves. And some of us, you know, some people here, maybe even listening, still follow them, mm-hmm. right? Like I, to me, there's that. I don't know. I I, I can be, appreciate that. I can appreciate that. I praise right. God for that. I know you got a third point, but I just want to say that I think it's easier in a smaller church to actually pull it off, yeah, and just say like, hey, listen, we're going to keep this under wraps. We're going to shut this down. Not a lot of people know, mm-hmm. and so we're just going to say, hey, listen, um, yeah, he definitely was taking a lot of Xanax, but like that's because he, he needed it. He had developed a tolerance. Yep. There's a lot of ways that we yep. justify this, yep. and they did the hard right thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Third thing, whether uh, JB, JD, JD. Sorry, someone's trying to call me. Uh, JD or uh, sorry, this last part here. Uh, I'll read it out loud. Uh, are, Mr. Hall and his family are now being ministered to by church leadership mm-hmm. and he's came under the discipline. Yep. Guys, that's, that's, that is so glorifying to God. That's how that, you're supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'm leaving. Yeah, instead of just, yeah, I, I, I pray and I hope that he doesn't leave, that he stays and he's part of it, that mm-hmm. he, he sub- continues to submit that leadership. And the fact that the leadership is loving and caring to say, man, we're going to, we, 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 we can't allow you to continue doing this, but we're going to, we're going to walk alongside you and be with you through this process. Yeah. And we implore you to get the help that you need. Yeah. I think that's, that's important because the, the, the two options that are, probably really common is one guy's like oh i'm just gonna leave i'm out you want me to come under discipline bye mark driscoll yeah i'm just gonna do my yeah, own yeah, thing see? or or the elders are like get out we're, you're, we're, we're done d- with we're you. done with you yeah right it's like well that's not how it's supposed so to work here's the thing why we wanted to share this right is 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 not gossip not rejoicing not nope. being happy but let's point out the things that are that are glorifying to god in this because there's too many times mm-hmm. and we've had too many situations where it's it's the opposite yeah it's it's the absolute opposite, and I pray that if uh, um, I don't know how to say it because it sounds like just say like, it. Well, no, like I pray like if if there was ever a situation in my life mm-hmm. that was borderline or getting there, that the elders would step in like that, and that I would that the God would give me that uh, I don't know what's the word like the strength, the, the grace, the grace yeah. to to submit yeah. humbly and and willingly and ready uh to receive his grace and his and 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 his grace his direction from the leadership yep. his discipline like his yeah. discipline from the church leadership i mean that that's why i want to really highlight this it's not and listen let's just be honest it's not likely to happen apart from god's grace exactly you and i are both pretty independent guys and you know, for, for better or worse, it's like, I'll just take care of my problem. I got an issue. I'll deal yep. with it. Like, yep. just let me just deal. And, you know, and I really do believe if you or I were in trouble and the elders said, hey, we got to deal with this. I think we would not because we're good guys, but because nope. God's grace is given. And yeah. I, I, I do. I do think we would. We also happen to be in a church that's that's really safe. I mean, it's a church that, you know, we've walked a bunch of people through really hard problems and failures. Yeah. And we've seen them really gloriously restored. So I, I think, you know, we've got an a pretty up close, you know, scene on that. And so hopefully, you know, if that ever happened, God, I, I pray it never happens. God forbid that we do wind up in that situation. But if it does ever happen, I'm glad we're here. Yeah. Same. This is, this is the church that I would want to be a part of. And I know some people get really discouraged, 
right? And I know some people, like, listen, a common refrain is not surprised because JD was a bad guy. Okay, listen, uh, I, I know. <laughs> I have felt, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the, the, the dislike uh, from JD personally. Um, I don't think that this would be, be a given just because, you know, he was hostile online and, mm-hmm. and unpleasant as a Christian. And I would even go so far as I think he was ungodly in a lot of the things that he did in terms of his accusations and, and, the, and the words he used. But I don't... I, yeah, I'm actually surprised. Like, mm. you know, I, I, I wouldn't su- expect this to happen of somebody. Um, but at the same time, it's like, okay, well, now you have the opportunity to really clean house. It's like, maybe, maybe like in your life, you come under the discipline of the Lord. And it's because of a very specific issue, right? Uh, maybe it's the way you treat your spouse, or maybe it's, it's the way you spend your your time, uh, whatever it is, maybe you're, you're, you're in continuing in sin in such a way the Lord brings discipline into your life. And hopefully when that happens, we don't just look at that one issue. Yes. Like we got to look at the whole because yep. oftentimes the one issue is actually the fruit of a deeper root. And so we got to go there. And then once you know the root, you can then identify all of the different fruit that come from it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I, I, hopefully that happens here because what a, what an amazing testimony for, a guy like JD, who's clearly very gifted with social media online. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he knows he knows the interwebs. Yep. He knows how to use the tubes. So what a testimony if God really gets a hold of him and he does a wholesale uh, inventory on himself to mm. go like, where do I mm-hmm. need to repent? What are all the ways in which I need to repent, which we all need to be doing? And then what's that going to look like? And how is this going to shape what I do in the future? And I mean, I think that should just be an inventory that we're taking, mm-hmm. right? Consistently, you know, routinely for all of us as 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 believers, right? Like we should be uh, routinely taking a look at ourselves and and taking a look at our our thoughts and our actions, our affections, and and drilling down to uh, what are those, as Joe said, those those root issues, those heart issues, those sin issues um, that bear fruit mm. in our lives. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's living on less isn't easy, especially in this economy. And while we can cut back on certain expenses, like going to the movies or getting a better car, there are some expenses we cannot avoid, like health care. The cost of health insurance has skyrocketed in recent years, and visits to the doctor or the ER are more expensive than most even imagine. My son had to take a trip to the ER by way of ambulance recently, and the cost of the trip to the hospital alone was dumbfounding. Well, there's a solution to the rising health care costs. Christian Healthcare Ministries. This is America's longest-serving health cost-sharing ministry. As a health cost-sharing ministry, members carry each other's medical bills and lift each other up in prayer. Since 1981, they've satisfied billions in eligible medical bills for hundreds of thousands of Christians. Could you or someone you know benefit from joining CHM? Check them out today. Visit chministries.org slash podcast to learn more. That's right. It's America's longest serving health cost sharing ministry. chministries.org slash podcast. Um, so this shouldn't be a time for rejoicing. This should be no. a time for reflection. Yeah. Right. Well, I was just, I was, I was talking to Dean Lentil. Uh, I think it's Lentini. Lentini. It's like a magician's name. Dean, you know, you, you, he doesn't have all access. No, Dean's a good guy. He's on YouTube. Uh, I like him a lot. And he and I were having a conversation online recently. And he asked me like, hey, listen, when you see people, because he said like, well, you know, some guys that are higher profile that have fallen. Does it discourage you? And I said, well, sure. But I've had people very close to me fall and fail miserably. Like my primary pastor morally failed. Like one of the denominational leaders that I mm-hmm. knew up close and personal that invested in me abandoned his wife. Mm. I've had I've had friends that I was super close to apostatize from the faith. So I, I I've I've had this go on throughout my whole life. And so when I see somebody that I I'm kind of friends with who falls from public ministry. Sure, that's discouraging, but I've experienced it at a deeper level with personal relationships, but it's never made me question the faith. Mm. It's, it's made me question my faith. It's made me like go like, okay, listen, where are you at? 
because if, if if these guys can fall, you can fall. Yep. It's so yep. you know maybe it's not today, but give it a few days and a few bad decisions, and I can I'll, I'll be on prescription pills. Give me a few bad decisions, uh, you know, and I could be in a bad place. So it all of this should I think like you said we should be prayerful and but we should also take some self inventory hmm. um, to not just see like hey where where am I struggling in my life, but um, Am, am I taking risks that are unnecessary that could put me in a place that could actually lead to other problems? Because it's not just about like, well, I'm not doing anything dangerous right now. Okay, but are you putting yourself in a situation where you're just a few steps removed from that? And then like, how careful do you need to be? Yep. Could you be more careful? Should you be? Or are, do you have enough safeguards in place to help you manage that? Mm, yep, absolutely. Mm. All right. Well, that's what's going on with uh, the... With, uh, with our man, uh, JD, um, we pray for him and we wish him well. We got time to talk. All right. We've got time to talk time, a little yeah. bit. All right. I mean, speaking of, you know, mm -hmm. taking inventory. Yeah. And, and stupid ideas. And reflecting, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. We had a bit of a. We had a little discussion. We had a little discussion. We had an elders. The elders meeting was over, by the way. <laughs> and Jimmy's like, hey, let's dive into this. I, I, no, I didn't say let's dive into we, this. We, but you didn't say it. No, no, I didn't say that. But you meant no, it. No, no. Don't. No, no. If you're going to quote me. If you're going to quote me. I didn't quote right. you. No, you didn't say it. But you did it. I, I, no. Did you bring us into the deep waters? No. Oh, yes. No. Um, no. 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 Uh, no. 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 I, I said, hey guys, uh, let's pray about this as okay. we're thinking these yeah, things yeah. through. We said, okay. Well, yeah. okay. Yeah. And no, no. And then someone, yeah, got a little bit further into the water. At no. that point, no. game on. I just said, I said, yeah. Game on. Yeah. I said, yeah, yeah. And then the shark came up and bit that guy in the butt. And I don't know what that was all about. Wait, I didn't bite you. Are you bit me right in the butt. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, we are dealing with um, space issues. I don't even want to say size and growth issues right now. Yeah. We're, we're on an upward trajectory again, but we went from like roughly, let's just say 310 or 20 down to like 170 yep. after COVID. Now we're like 200 and something. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But we're running into issues. Can, you know, can we stay where we're at, which isn't ideal? We're meeting in this gymnasium, mm -hmm. or do we come back to the church? And it's all been coming back to the church is a problem because it's a very small sanctuary. We had to go to three services before. If we come back here, we're going to have to go to three services again yep, pretty right soon. Away. Yep. Like it, 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 I think by fall, we would have to go to three services. And we don't have the same makeup of the body that we did before. It would mm -hmm. be very difficult mm -hmm. to go to three services. So we started, Jimmy said, Hey, listen, we need to prayerfully consider all the options. Like not just rule them out. We need to actually consider them. Uh, okay, so if we, I if we did come back here, um, yeah, and Jimmy's like, so basically we consider, do we, you have two services, can we go to three services? And if we can or can't, do we need to have an overflow room, maybe in the basement with a screen? And and if that doesn't work, maybe we just go like super church growthy. No, I didn't a, say super okay. church growthy. No, 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 you didn't, didn't say that. that. I, no, you didn't say that. You did say, that. say, you he, did say Jimmy I, said. Okay, okay, you didn't say that. He didn't say that. <laughs> Sorry, that but was what, a big but, argument but, but, between Jimmy Joe and I. An <laughs> like, I didn't say it. No, but you meant it. Yeah, I meant it, but I didn't say it. And Jimmy's like, well, that's the same thing. And I'm like, no, it's not the same thing. It is the same thing. I never meant church growth strategy. So you you got me. Yeah, no. you're wrong no, twice. I, I am intentionally misrepresenting you because I like to do it. <laughs> so Jimmy said, or, um, or do we do we consider like looking off site? Like we have to we and 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 the truth is we should always be willing to reconsider what the options are. Even yes. if you think like you know what that we've always said that's a bad idea on biblical principle grounds. But let's look at it with fresh eyes with our Bibles open. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. And so we wound up having a conversation about the whether or not it is a good practice biblically to have a, a, a satellite campus or a campus meaning that the, part of the church is gathering, part of our church is gathering away from the normal gathering uh, on our regular campus somewhere else where um, you would have the, the video of the pastor piped in. Let's consider that. Yeah, video it, or, or like live, you know what I mean? Like a uh, like a live preacher. Okay. Well, that was not what was proposed. It was, it was, it was, what was proposed was piping in me. That was what was proposed. That's why I had such a visceral reaction to it. But uh, as we began. I'm trying to think of my exact words. No, 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 no. no. But no, I, I definitely meant either. So yeah. you're right. But what, no matter what, you're still right. But what was said though was definitely like. Yeah, it probably video. didn't say it well. So, but that's fine. And I, I said more, less well. Um, <laughs> that's how we do it. We, 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 uh, we disagree to agree. That's yeah, what we yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disagree to agree. Because we, we disagree. We start out disagreeing. Yeah, yeah. And then in the end, see, we end up agreeing. See, iron sharpens iron. That's right. That's see? right. 
Mm-hmm. And this is where you, you know have what? you have other brothers that come along, around, mm-hmm. alongside you, right? I'm trying to block you right now. Which, Wait, why? Because uh, if I block you, I can't hear you. No, see why? Well, it doesn't work in real life. No, it doesn't Dang work it. in real life. See? Oh, I'm see? used to just blocking people. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so that's why it's important block. to go ahead and have people block. being able to, to talk in can't and press you. with what you're saying <laughs> and walk away being okay. All right. So let's, let's talk a little bit, just briefly here, just yeah, to yeah. have a brief conversation about the idea of satellite campus. Right, so you have a church. You're outgrowing. First of all, let's. We, Jimmy and I both agree, going to a satellite model to facilitate growth. That's not what no, we're about. We we're don't not like about that. that. No, no, no. But we've always been responsive. So we're growing. What do we do with the people? Because yes. now we're at max capacity. Yep. What do we do now? Go to a second service, a third service. Okay. At some point, you, you can't keep doing services. Mm-hmm. So do you do a campus? And if you're going to do a, a a campus, there are all kinds of issues with that. Why isn't that just another church? Why shouldn't that just be a church plant? Do you start it as a campus and then can it become a church? That's probably a good practice to mm-hmm, do. Mm-hmm. But there are things that go into it, right? And so if you're going to have the church gathering and if it's a, another service or campus, you're going to have to have elders present. Yep. But otherwise, what is it? <laughs> if, yeah. To be a church and to function and to have yep. the Lord's Supper, yep. uh, to, uh, yep. you've got to have elders present. Yep. yep. So you're going to have to have elders there. So you can't just like, oh, we're just going to have a band. And it's like, no. You're going to need some music, so you're going to have to figure that out. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to figure out the preacher. Mm-hmm. Are you going to pipe it in, or are you going to have a real-life preacher? We mm-hmm. would do a real-life preacher. That's yep. the, that's yep. what you got it. Okay, now how you're going to offer uh, children's ministry? Yep. Right? How, how's that going to go? How yep. many people are going to seed this thing? Mm-hmm. Because we're not we're not a church of, of, of 1,000 or 2,000 that's going to like break off 150 people to go and start something. Correct. Like We're a church of two-something. Yeah. And let's say we're, we're, we're at 300 or we're going to start a campus. What, 50 people are going to go? <laughs> okay, maybe. Yeah. And then you have to consider things like, all right, do you want to pipe in the message of the guy or do you want to have a real life preacher? Now, I've always been of the conviction that, you know, you need a preacher, someone there preaching the word um, who knows the people, who is interacting with that particular congregation or that those particular people. Uh, somebody that can look at them, somebody that can look at you to receive the word. We're not playing a tape uh, and we're not piping in a message. And I think there are some problems that come with that sort of a thing. I think when you're piping in the message, unless you are absolutely providentially hindered, which is a possibility. Mm. Mm. Unless you're absolutely providentially uh. hindered. Ooh. See, I'm fair. Disagree to agree. That's right. Hmm. Unless you're providentially hindered, uh, you should have a real live preacher there. Mm-hmm. Now, there are some places out in, there's some, I've, I've known of churches where like, we don't have a preacher. We've got 20 people here. We don't have a preacher. So they listen to the sermon of, of a gifted teacher somewhere online yep. or they play a tape yep. and they sit under that, you know, but they, hopefully they have some leadership there that can help them through this process. But, uh, if you're piping in a guy, I think the problem is number one, why aren't why don't you have if you have all the resources to start a campus, but you don't have a the resources of preachers, something's wrong. You should have a pre- we have enough people that could preach. Yep. If if we needed somebody to be preaching on Sunday, apart from me, we have guys that could do yep. it. Yep. I'm looking at one. Jimmy could do it. No, I'm not looking behind you. Oh, I'm looking at you. No, I'm looking yeah. at you, Big Bear. You're Ooh. my guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've we, we've got we've got guy. We got Scott Schifferling. We've got Travell. Yep. We've got yep. Oliver. We got yep. we got all these guys. And again, part of the problem is is if you if you're piping in a leader, here's the rub. It it certainly can contribute to a cult of personality. It, I think so. It can. It doesn't yeah. necessarily, but yeah. it certainly can. I agree. I remember that conversation. Did you see that black and white uh, Gospel Coalition video with Dever? and Driscoll and McDonald. It's the most awful conversation ever. Oh, I did see that. Yes. Because yes. those two jokers yep. are trying to tell Mark that he's creating a bigger cult of personality by not having video venue mm-hmm. than they are with their video venues and brand, hmm. which was silly. Yeah. Which yep. was silly. Yep. So that is a, but it is a possibility. But at the same time, let's just be honest. If we send out, and it's not about who's a better preacher. It's about who's the regular preacher. Yes. Most people at church want to hear the regular preacher. Yeah. That's a, that's oftentimes a big reason why they're there. They're initially attracted to that particular giftedness or the, yep. that particular way. Yep. yep. And so when you say, hey, everybody, we're going to have another campus. Oh, cool. It's closer to my house. Great, great. Who's going to be preaching? Oh, it's going to be Bob. Mm-hmm. Bob's going to be doing it. And they're like, oh, but see, I'm, 
I've really benefited from the preaching of this particular mm-hmm, pastor. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that's not always a sign of, you know, celebrity. It's not always a sign of like, oh, well, I'm of Paul, I'm of Apollos. It can be, but it's not necessarily. But now you're running into another obstacle. Do your people have enough of a missional mindset to say like, I'm going to go? Yeah. Because this is yeah. a good thing. And so it's not, a, it's not wrong no, and then bad. And then even like, okay, it, uh, administratively, you start thinking through, okay, how do you maybe rotate? Mm-hmm. And, but then you don't set the schedule. So people don't know. Now yeah. you have to like, now it's like, why are you hiding something from people? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like you're going to trick them. You, know, it, it, you don't know where I'm going to be. Yeah. Oh, it's roulette. Preacher <laughs> roulette. <laughs> you know, and again, like, so I, I think with Jimmy's point, it was, it was, and again, I always take hard points better after the fact. Most of us do. Right. It's like, okay. But, but the reality is, is like, oh, listen, we, we have to be willing to like talk through it and not rule it out. I mean, I've spent years thinking about this, writing about this. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. elders have been talking about this stuff. And so it's easy to go, we've already settled this issue. Okay. Well, fine. Per- perhaps we have, we have, but it's worth revisiting with fresh eyes and an open Bible. It's not just open mindedness. It's mm-hmm. fresh eyes, open Bible. Let's talk about it because maybe we missed something. Maybe I, I mean, missed something. I mean, think of, I mean, has there ever been a time in, in your life, Joe, right? Mm-hmm. Where like there's been a conviction that you've held. Never. There's been a conviction nope. that you've held. Never. That, mm-hmm. oh, as it's been revisited <laughs> no. with an open Bible yeah. has changed. Never. Never. No. When would I change my mind about anything like Joey. the Sabbath or, <laughs> <laughs> or dispensationalism <laughs> or whatever? Yeah, of course. And so like we always think we're right. Yeah. And you know what? Sometimes we're right, and sometimes we are wrong. Yeah. And so revisiting is not hurtful. No. It's not. It doesn't hurt anything. All it does is strengthen your position. Yeah. Or, or change it to a more biblical. Hopefully, change it to a more yeah, biblical. Exactly. The risk is, is you could become just you could make a decision, the wrong decision, you become unbiblical. Of course, it's but that's always a risk. Yeah. 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 And I mean, the risk is sometimes like you can try to make a decision based off pragmatism rather than. And that's why I think, you know, your point about it's not about open mindedness, but open Bible yeah. is really key here. Yeah. Right? right. And that what we do is always driven by what scripture says. That's why this is a really like, I hate the term safe spaces. I grew up. I, hey, everybody. Oh, here we go. I grew up in the 80s. Mm. The only safe space that existed was my bedroom. Because it, that, that's it. <laughs> that was I it. go in there. I can like listen to my heavy metal and do my thing. But out in the world, you can get picked on. You can get bullied. You can face ideas that you uh, that you disagree with. People can hurt your feelings. They yep. can insult you, or they can beat you up. Whatever. Um, so I don't like the whole idea. Like college should be a safe space. No, it shouldn't. It should be. Uh, it should be a rather dangerous place of ideas being challenged and yeah. exchanged. Yeah. But but safe. There is a sense in which we should have safe spaces, and this it, church is a safe space in that like. This church is so committed to the scripture. It doesn't mean we get everything right, but it is so committed to the scripture that anything that we try to do, any new thing is going to be scrutinized yep. biblically. Yes. The elders are not going to make a decision unless they can sign off on it biblically. And then if we do, the congregation is going to want to see, is this, they will exactly. be just as invested. Yep. Like, hey, well, hold on. What's going on here? So, you know, like, oh, okay, Joe, you said an overflow room might be okay. Mm. But isn't that video venue? Mm. That's what Jimmy was like. So you're okay with it? Jimmy's like, so you're okay with it? Overflow? I'm like, yeah, basically. I mean, it's a concession. I don't really like it, but it's fine. I kind of. Do. How is that different? Well, it's different from a. How is it different from a, from a campus offsite? It's offsite. That's a, <laughs> that's a big difference. It's way offsite. It's over there. It's not over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Jimmy but, kept pressing me. He's like. No, it's inconsistent, right? And I'm like, well, it's inconsistent, but it's consistently inconsistent. <laughs> Isn't that a thing? Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> Jimmy, no Jimmy, it can't be over there. Because it's, it's over there. You're going to pipe in the preacher. You're going to pipe in it's the all music. Piped. It's all piped. And yeah, yeah. It, 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 they're not in the same room. I'm like, okay. So downstairs is piped in video, piped yeah, in music, but, not in the same room. But if I yell loud, they can hear me. And that's a, <laughs> that's, that makes it all okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why we disagree to agree. Yep. It, 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 funny, that started out as a joke, but it actually no, makes no, sense. It's, it's really true. We, about us. we disagree to agree because you 
You can't agree on a lot of things unless you start off with a disagreement. You got to you got to hash it out. You got to fight it out. You got to make everybody else in the room feel uncomfortable. Oh gosh, they were uncomfortable. <laughs> but the, Jimmy and I are like, fine. We're like, this is uncomfortable. This is what we do. That's, this is what we do. How yeah. are we going to get anywhere? Well, yeah, that, but that that's the importance then again again of like having a a uh, in our situation in right. an elder group yep. that is able to mm-hmm. go through the hard waters, the uncomfortable waters yeah. to. That Jimmy act- stirred up, <laughs> that Jimmy threw the chum into, <laughs> to, to get to where God yeah. wants us to be. Right, right. Otherwise, it's just an echo chamber. Otherwise, it is the cult of personality mm-hmm. where Joe has spoken. Oh, let's he's all, the lead pastor. Let's just all shut up. Wait a minute. Did he just say he's studied this for years? Oh, he's written on it. Oh, and that the elders have agreed on this. Oh, <laughs> well then let's shut it down. <laughs> let's not let's not talk about it ever again. Yeah, I love the fact like you said that. I'm not trying to, you know, so I'm not trying to stir everything up. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I was no, done. Fine. Yeah, I was, you know. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm ready. But I was like, ow. So what? <laughs> yeah. You're like, okay, and <laughs> do we ever get anything wrong? Because they have the elders ever made a mistake? Okay, we, yeah, we, yeah. But okay, you learn from that. You don't do that anymore, right? Let's just let's talk about it. That's why we let's do this together. What's wrong with talking about? It? Okay, listen. We will have a T-shirt available. Disagree to agree. Oh, that will be that. available soon. We're gonna I love work that. on That's that. That's a great idea. And if Brian wants to get involved in the design, fine. But I will whip it up, man, for sure. I think it's, it's I think it's needed. I will wear it. Yeah, I will wear it on Sunday morning. Oh, <laughs> disagree to, to agree. agree. Hey, Jimmy. Yep. This is banter of truth. Yes, it is. How does it work? What is it? What? What it's, is it? This what? Is, you're so out of the loop. You don't even know how to well, do no, it no, anymore. Well, I mean, you can follow us online on Instagram and Twitter. But that's not banter of truth. No, but I have Doc and Devo or on Facebook slash Dr. Devotion. Yeah. Head to the website, drdevotion.com. They can contact us. Send it for the email blog to the store, joeforstow.com. I guess if they're listening right now, unless we make this available to everybody, should we make this one available to everybody? I don't know. Eh, so, but you know, banter of truth is for the all it, access. That's it. Panel. And you know how you get there. You got there. Well, they know because they're listening. But if you want others to Uh, enjoy this, let them go to drdevotion.com slash all access to Mm -hmm. sign up today. Got that fresh pot every Monday and Thursday blog post and video content over at the website. And we want to thank you, our all access subscriber. Thank you for supporting Jimmy's Vegas trips. This is the only (laughs) way he can afford to go to Vegas is with all that all access. Okay, that doesn't actually happen now. Nah, nah, nah. We can pay for the website because of That's about it. (laughs) This has been your Bachelor Truth on Tuesday. So you got your weekday wisdom Monday through Friday. Thanks again. Later.